Hi guys, so this month on SN Routines, we're going to be showing you our nighttime makeup routine. So the makeup that we use when we're going out, wanna add that extra something something to our look. So I'm up first and I'm gonna show you how I do my night out makeup. So first I, um, I actually don't change the CC cream that I use from day to night. I still stick with um, Super Goop CC cream. I use the shade Light Medium and I like to mix it with a few drops of um, an oil to help it go on a little smoother. So I use the Phoenix um, oil from Herbivore Botanicals. I like to just add a few drops. I find, you know, I have really dry skin. This helps it just really kind of apply really smoothly and evenly. And even actually at nighttime when I'm going out, I don't necessarily put it everywhere. I like to just really put it under and over my eyes, around my chin where I have a little redness, and my forehead. Next thing I do is I actually go from my skin and I start um, with my eyeshadow. So this is a product that I really save for nights out. I don't wear eyeshadow on a typical day, um, but this palette I've had for years and years. It's um, a Tom Ford eyeshadow quad and the color is Nude Dip. It kind of gives you the perfect nude eyeshadow and then you can also play around with some of the darker colors for a smokier eye. Um, so like if I were to do a more like subtle look, these top two would be awesome. And then for something smokier, the bottom's good. So tonight, since it's kind of, you know, like a night out, I'm going to primarily stick with this one and this one. Um, and then I'll do a little bit of a highlight with this shade and a little bit around my um, eyelid with this one. I use um, this one to get the inner corner of my eye and around the um, eyelid. I use this one to put eyeshadow on and this one to kind of blend it all together. And what I love about Tom Ford shadows is they have really great shimmer without being shiny. So I just, I apply this one all over the base of my lid. Maybe I'll do one eye and then the other so you can see the difference. And then I'm gonna take this shade and pop it along the crease of my eye. I kind of start in the middle of my eyelid and work my way out. And then I also bring it back around the side. So you're kind of making a V in the outer corner of your eyelid. And then I'm gonna take this highlighter and pop it on the inner corner of my eyelid. And I'm also gonna put a little underneath that eyelid just to kind of brighten up that area. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to this, um, this flatter brush and take a little bit more of the darker color and pop it right in the middle. And then lastly, I'm gonna to go to the darkest color and do a little bit of a liner with the shadow along the base of my lash. So that added a lot of depth to the look. And then now's the fun part. I'm gonna take my blending brush and just kind of blend it all together. So you can see one eye done, one eye not. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I've talked a lot about, um, by the way, like clean beauty and how majority of the time I use clean products. When I'm doing my going out makeup, I'm definitely not using clean products. Um, and I really believe that your makeup routine, like a diet, should be all about balance. So if you're using clean products majority of the time, every once in a while you can afford to use those really kind of like high payoff, high performance products that might not necessarily be 100% clean. Um, so next up, um, I'm going to use an eyeliner. I'm obsessed with Tom Ford, as you can tell. So this is their Emotion Proof Liner. I think I have a weird way of applying eyeliner, so I'm a little embarrassed to show you all. But I really like stretch out my eyelid and kind of apply it that way. I already have a little bit of liner from the shadow, but 
And this just adds a little bit of extra depth. Next up for my skin, I'm gonna do a like quickie cheaters contour. This is the Well People Bronzer. I use this during the day and at night. I am obsessed with this product so much so that it's literally on its like last. I can't even twist it out anymore. Um, but I'm gonna pop this if you kind of suck in your cheeks right where that line is to give a little bit more definition. And then the light of the highlight. I use this RMS um, Living Luminizer. This is another product that I also use during the day, but is very versatile. And at nighttime, it really pops. And I'll show you what I do with the Tom Ford eyeshadow on top of it to make it even better. So um, this kind of like comes off really creamy. It's coconut oil based. Um, and you can just dab it on the high points of your cheekbones, down your nose. And I also like to put a little under my eyes. I think that's weird, but works for me. So here we go. Okay, so now I've done that. Um, next up, I'm going to set the look of my face with this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. Um, the shade I use is called Dim Light. This is one of those products that I have become very obsessed with. It is great for nighttime because it really makes your makeup look stick um, for the entire evening, I find. Um, it's all about kind of layering creamy products with powders that then set everything and really keep the look intact. I'm also really intentional, intentional about where I place it on my face. Um, I put the highlighter under my eyes and I like that part to feel a little more sheeny so I don't set that with powder. I let that just kind of stay as is. Then I put this all over my neck to give it a little bit more bronze, subtle sheen. So next up on to brows, um, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz for evening. I love that it has dual ends. So I start by combing my eyebrows up um, to make them as bushy as possible. And Brow Wiz has the thinnest pencil of all the Anastasia Beverly Hills products, which is why I choose it, um, because I do have some areas that are a little sparse, so I really like to kind of get in there and fill that in. So here we go. And I use really short strokes, just kind of filling in all of those sparse areas. And then lastly, you have to blend it. So after you fill it in, go back and comb, kind of blend, blend, blend. And now you comb it again. And then in ABH, I use the shade Medium Brown. They also have a really beautiful auburn shade that I can use, because my hair's a little red, but I like a darker eyebrow, so I tend to go for darker. And then I finish it with Glossier Boy Brow. I believe this is the brown shade. And I comb this up and through the brow, so it'll really make those like little hairs stand straight up, which I tend to find is a good look. Next up, I'm almost done, so I'm gonna um, do my mascara and then lips. This is a really cheap eyelash curler that I bought at Sephora. I think it's Sephora branded. Does the trick though. I never curl my eyelashes during the day, only at night. Um, so here you go. For mascara, I'm actually gonna use two different kinds. I like two coats, um, which I think a lot of people actually use multiple mascaras. So I start with Glossier, um, and I like this one because it kind of separates your lashes and makes them really long individual lashes. And then I go on top of it with um, Tom Ford because the Tom Ford is more like volume and drama. So this is like one coat of Glossier and you can already see what a huge difference it makes. And then I'm gonna go on top of it with the Tom Ford, um, which is a little bit of a fluffier brush. Look at that difference. I don't have eyelash extensions right now, by the way. And then on the other, I'll go back, I'll do the Glossier first and then the Tom Ford. What's next? Lips. So I 
am obsessed with very pink baby doll lips. It's not a look for everyone, but these are like, like literally bubblegum pink, the shades that I use. Um, this one is from MAC. It's a cream sheen in Sunny Soul. I don't know if they still sell this one. I heard a rumor they discontinued it. Um, I really like cream sheen lipstick because kind of the way it sounds, it's very creamy, very moisturizing, and I have very dry lips. So I already have chapstick on from earlier and I, I, I like to kind of like line the lip first and then um, fill it in. So I use kind of this edge here to line and then fill in. And then I top it with um, this gloss, which <sighs> this is very special gloss to me. I wore it up on my wedding day and my makeup artist um, who did my wedding, she actually makes these herself. She doesn't sell them, so you can't buy them, sorry. Um, but I get her to give me them. Um, this is pre -dame, Get Pretty, Drink Bubbly, Go Party Lip Gloss. The last step before I go out is I set everything with my Aven Thermal Spring Water. It's just water. All right, so thank you for watching and you can follow along each month. Each of us are going to be showing you our nighttime routines. Let us know if you have questions in the comments.